consider the motion of a lift in the upward direction that is lift or the elevator in the upward direction let there be a person inside the lift let m be the mass of the person here the lift is moving upward with an acceleration a then the different forces acting on this person are first one his weight w acting downward and his reaction acting upward these are the two different forces acting on the person on the lift since this force sorry since this acceleration or the lift is accelerating upward we have r greater than w r is greater than w clear that is since this is the case when the lift is accelerating upward which means the reaction is greater than v so r greater than w here w means the, the equation for weight w will be mg w weight w equal to mg weight will always be mass of the person into his acceler into acceleration due to gravity so this reaction or the apparent weight is greater than weight so the unbalanced force unbalanced force will be the greater force minus the lesser force that is r minus w clear and from call this as equation number 1 and from newton's law we have unbalanced force unbalanced force will always be mass into acceleration m call that as equation number 2 in any case the unbalanced force will be ma where a is the acceleration of the body so equating 1 and 2 you will get r minus w is equal to ma or r is equal to ma plus w instead of w you can write r is equal to ma plus mg and you can take this m outside so this will be m into a plus g so this is the reaction or the apparent weight or is also called apparent weight apparent weight of a person residing inside the lift in residing inside a lift go accelerating upward clear now what happens when the lift is moving with an acceleration in the downward direction with an acceleration a in the downward direction here also the different forces acting on this person are one is the one is his weight and the second one is his reaction here in this case his weight will be greater than the reaction since the lift is moving downward so here in this case w greater than reaction and you know weight as we said before weight w is equal to mg and the unbalanced force unbalanced force unbalanced force will be greater force minus lesser force w minus r call that that's equation number 1 and from newton's law you have unbalanced force is equal to unbalanced force is equal to will always be mass of the body into its acceleration and may here the mass of the person into his acceleration a yeah. so equating this these two you will get w minus r is equal to m a you can take this r to the right and m a to the left so this will be w minus m a equal to r or r is equal to w minus m a r is equal to instead of w you can write m g minus m a or r equal to m into g minus a so this is the apparent weight or the reaction of a person moving in a lift accelerating downward
Now, as for our third case, what will happen if the lift is moving upward with a constant velocity or uniform velocity? We have the reaction on a body, reaction in a body, in a lift, accelerating upward is m into g plus a. Since the, board, the lift is moving with a uniform velocity, it does not have an acceleration. Constant velocity means the acceleration is zero. Therefore, r is equal to m into g plus zero. That is, r is equal to mg, which means the apparent weight and his true weight remains, or his weight remains the same. Similar is the case for case when the body is moving downward with a velocity. Here also, the acceleration is equal to zero. For a body moving downward, we have apparent weight or the reaction R is equal to m into g minus a. Substituting 0 for a, you get R is equal to m into g. Since this R, this a is equal to 0. So, as for the summary, when the lift is moving up or downward with a constant velocity, the apparent weight and its true weight remains the same. There is no change in the weight.